Lads, 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 what is going on? In good nick here, back again. Um, I was going to bring out a Callum Robinson video the other day. However, I, I actually wrote a whole script for the video basing it on him possibly signing and then he went and signed. But then I had no time to film the video anyway, so I'm going to throw it into this one. So with eventually, eventually, eventually signed Ravel Morrison, which I'm absolutely buzzing about because Ravel Morrison's quality. He's always been quality. That's not the part of his game that kind of was lacking. It's his mental side. It's keeping his keeping himself on the rails. And I know Alex, Sir Alex Ferguson hasn't been able to do it. Other managers haven't been able to do it in the past. But he's getting, well, he's a bit older than he used to be, for, obviously. Um, and hopefully Chris Wilder is the man to sort him out. This signing could be massive. Because really, one, it could do some damage in the Premiership, definitely. It's, it's, it's definitely possible. Two, if he does kind of find that form that he did when he was a kid, he could go for 10, 15, 20 million. You never know. If he if he finds form this season, someone could definitely come in with a big, big bid for him. Um, so yeah, that's not my that's not my thing. I'm not on about money. We don't care about money right now. We're just wanting to stay in the Premier League. So up to now, let me try and go through these because I've not even thought about this video. All I thought is uh, I'm going to talk about Callum Robinson and I'm going to talk about Ravel Morrison. So I've not really thought about anything else. So uh, who have we signed up to now? So we've signed Luke Freeman. We have signed... Um, oh God, I knew this was going to... I knew I was going to struggle. I knew everything was going to leave my head. Um, Jags. We've signed... Who else? Those two. We've signed, obviously, Ravel Morrison. We've signed... Callum Robinson. Oh my God! I knew this was going to. I was going to struggle with this. We're also looking at Ben Osborne from uh, from Forest, and I've got one of my best mates is a Forest fan, and uh, he said he's not entirely sure why we've gone for him because he's a winger, which, well, he's first a winger, second a left back. Obviously, we play something right in the middle of that, but in my opinion, one of our best players is a left wing back in Under Stevens. So, I don't think he'll get much of a game, even if we do sign him. But we do need some cover on that left-hand side, because we've then got Keane Bryan. And that's about it, really. And Keane Bryan didn't start, or even come on, in one championship game last season. So, yeah, he's probably not going to make many Premier League starts, if any. Um, probably ain't even going to come off the bench, if, if I'm honest. Um, so, that's that. Um... Obviously, McBurney and Morpé is still going on, but I've not heard anything about Morpé, which is really, really disappointing because he's the one that I wanted right at the start. Um, also, uh, Ollie McBurney, we've had a 15 million uh, bid turned down, apparently, which is mental. I would, I never thought I'd see the day that Chef United put in a 15 million bid for a player, and we can't even get him. So, yeah, great. That's great. Uh, we might put in a couple more million or they might just kind of go, yep, all right, fair enough, 15 million is a lot of money for a championship striker. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. It would be nice to get him, but we do now have Callum Robinson. And the thing is with him, he is, I thought he was going to be that last striker that we were going to go for, but sounds like, like I say, they're still trying to get McBurney. So that's great. Um, also, obviously, Ravel Morrison is kind of a... I don't know where he's going to play him. I think, for me, he's got to be an attacking midfielder or possibly a second striker. Um, but that's the only place he's going to play. He's not going to play as a wing-back or a defensive midfielder. So he's got to either play at Cam or as a second striker. He's not going to be a striker. So, yeah, we, we're kind of overloaded at attacking midfield. And uh, I feel really sorry for Mark Duffy because he's, he's been playing out of his skin for the last three seasons. And uh, Wilder just keeps wanting to replace him, which is a little bit harsh on the guy because he's been so, so good for us. Uh, but, yeah, Freeman started tonight. Obviously, we're playing Burton, Albion as we speak. Uh, I'm not there, obviously. Um, 
I couldn't get the day off work and I wouldn't have really had time to get there. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm happy, I'm really happy about Ravel Morrison. Uh, Callum Ravel Morrison. Yeah, Ravel Morrison, Callum Robinson. God, I've only just, I've only just put two and two together with that. So uh, Callum Robinson, um, I spoke to a Preston fan and he was very, very disappointed that he was leaving, which is obviously a good thing. Um, he said he's got some pace, not a hell of a lot of pace, but he's got some. And from some of the highlights that I've watched, he does look nippy. But obviously you don't see someone just sprinting highlights normally. So uh, he does look pretty nippy. Uh, I don't think you need a hell of a lot of pace in the Premiership. Um, but it does help. Uh, we don't have much pace and he's probably going to be our quickest player. Um, probably along with kind of Ravel Morrison. Um, so, um, so yeah, it's good to get some quicker players in. I did say that in one of my last videos. Having a lot of slow players, we kind of struggle sometimes on the break because we've just not got that pace. Um, yeah, you're looking at the likes of Mark Duffy getting forward and uh, he's just not got the pace that he used to have. Obviously, Billy and uh, Didzy both... Didzy's got some pace when he gets going, but the thing is, he's not one of those strikers. He is... Kind of like a, a Berbatov sort of player. Leon, again, no pace really, has he? Um, so, yeah, it's nice to bring in two lads that have got a bit about them. Uh, it, again, it is gutting that, that we're probably not going to get more pay now. Uh, but you never know. You never know. It still could happen in the future. Um, also, I'm trying to think who else we've been linked with. So, yeah, obviously Ben Osborne. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Uh, I feel a bit sorry for, for Joel um, Lynch because I can't see us signing him. I don't know why. Hursty, one of my mates, uh, one of my YouTuber mates who's a QPR fan, said, do not sign Joel Lynch. Keep wanting to call him Joel Robinson or Joel Morrison. God, this is going to be difficult. Um, Joel Lynch, do not sign him because he is nowhere near good enough for even QPR, never mind us. And that does sound right. They let him go and and they didn't exactly do very well last season. I do think he played quite a few games for him last season, but they're willing to let him go. Is he really good enough for the Premiership? Um, but we've got, obviously, Jags and Stearman, who are going to be kind of like the fill-in players. Um, but we don't really want to lose any of the uh, the back three or back five, should, should, we, should we say. So, yeah, Stearman and Jag should be enough, really. Um, both of them very good defensively. Um, maybe not got the legs that they used to have. So, yeah, they're fine for me. We don't really need anyone else. Obviously, there's Keen Bryan as well. So, uh, I think... Looking at the squad right now, we could be good to go into the Premiership. It would be nice to get one more striker, and I do think that's what Wilder's trying to do. Um, but uh, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. We've got three like good, good-looking strikers. That doesn't sound right, but three strikers that that can score goals. Um, I did think when the season ended that Billy Sharp wouldn't start the Premier League season. It's looking more and more likely that he will do. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I love Bill to bits, and I think that he can do a job in the Premiership. But again, I just don't know if he's that starter in the Prem. But I would love to see him score our first goal in the Premier League. Um, so, so yeah, we'll just see. This, is, this video is really just about... Um, I, th I think we've got enough. I think we've just about got enough, but it would be nice to see another striker. Um, attacking midfield-wise, we've got, got them in abundance. And I was speaking to my dad the other day, and I'm thinking, I've been saying to Wilder for time, for such a long time, that instead of playing two up front and one in the hole, why not play one up front and then two kind of one on the left-hand side roaming and one on the right-hand side roaming. Maybe he's going to try that this season. We've obviously got three uh, very, very capable attacking midfielders. Um, so so that might be something that Wilder may look at doing uh, this season. Um, but we've got, we've got uh, at least two players in every position. 
uh, well, obviously, if we sign a left, we, we need to sign a left back, really, a left wing back to cover for Ender, just in case, because if Ender, something happens to Ender uh, right at the beginning of the season, then we're screwed, really, because who would you play? Would you play Kieran Freeman at left wing back? Would you play Keen Bryan at left wing back? Keen Bryan not playing one game last season, uh, in the league at least, I wouldn't feel too comfortable bringing him in at left wing back. Not in the Premiership. Uh, obviously, the, the other one that we, <laughs> we need to speak about is the goalkeeper spot. Simon Moore is currently playing in the net, and a lot of people are not happy about that. Um, again, another player that didn't get one um, league appearance last season. Um, Dino between the sticks all season. Uh, and it's looking more and more likely that Dino's not coming back next season. Uh, I think he's probably been a bit daft with tweeting. I, I think a fan put something really soppy like, um, I can't believe, uh, uh, you know everyone loves you at, at United and you've not given us a proper goodbye or anything like that. It was a bit soppy, it was a bit daft. Uh, but he wrote back and said, we'll see or see you soon or something like that. And it was just like, mate, come on. If you're not going to sign for us, just ignore the tweet. Just ignore it. Like, he might have thought then that he was going to sign and something could have happened. But it doesn't look like he's coming back. It doesn't. Uh, and and uh, a lot of people have been saying things like Darren, Rand uh, Darren Randolph. Yeah, Darren Randolph. Uh, I was going to say Darren Gandalf. Darren Randolph. Um, Randolph. I don't even know how you say his bloody name. Um, some are even saying Kieran Westwood. Um, but like Neil Etheridge, and I would love to see Neil Etheridge at, at Bramall Lane. I thought he was brilliant for Cardiff last season. So I do think one of those we would have to go in for. We need someone big. We need a very good goalkeeper who who's either very experienced or just very good like Dino. Um, all those two that I've just mentioned, even Kieran Westwood. I really like Kieran Westwood. Uh, I know he's a Wednesday player. But he's a very, very good goalkeeper. You can't take anything away from him. Uh, Darren Darren Randolph last season was quality. All the Borough fans were saying he was the best keeper in the league. I think he did get uh, team of the season. Um, yeah, because we were like, why and Dean Anderson got in there? But obviously, other goalkeepers can play well. We don't watch them week in, week out. Like A lot of Leeds fans were saying Dean Anderson was shocking because he made one mistake at home against Leeds. But what about all those games where he saved us? So, yeah, so we need someone big between the sticks. And uh, I don't think fans will be happy if Simon Moore starts the season, even though I really like him. He played really well against Real Betis as well. Um, saved quite a few shots and uh, and saved us, really. Um, so, yeah, we need to fill that spot pretty soon. Uh, I know you don't have to kind of gel a goalkeeper in like you do with other players. But it would be nice for him to get in and get and get bedded in before we kind of start the uh, the campaign. So anyway, that's that's about it really. I, I didn't really have a lot to talk about. I uh, I just wanted to to mention about Callum Robinson and obviously Ravel Morris. Callum Robinson, Ravel Morrison. Yeah, I think I got that right. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing Ravel Morrison. I wish that he'd have been fit to play against Betis. Uh, but uh, I'm sure we'll see a lot of him this season. I hope we see a lot of him this season. So anyway, thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Lots, lots, lots more Sheffield United content throughout the season. So, um, so yeah, I'm on that road to 10k subs as well. So every subscriber is lovely. Even though I lost about 30 subscribers the other day, which, uh, yeah, fun. Thank you very much, YouTube. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you like the video. I don't know what it means, but it helps in some way. And uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time. So stay in good, Nick.